So you've seen all the different demos here for different components of digital chassis. What we are showing here is bringing those components together with a cloud-connected solution, which is car to cloud to provide immersive uh, uh, experiences for customers in car using cloud and vehicle or device technologies. So we're gonna start with uh, connectivity. We have, like you rightly said, four elements. Connect, uh, ma connect, manage, develop, and engage. Uh, and we're gonna start with Connect, which is basically our connectivity solution in partnership with Cubic Telecom. Cubic Tele Telecom is one of the leading providers of global connectivity, and they have a solution which provides a single point of solution for connectivity using Bootstrap SIM that works across all uh, global MNOs. They have over 100 plus MNOs uh, and deployed and commercially available on millions of cars. So we're gonna start with uh, some of the dashboards which show Cubic Telecom's uh, technology integrated with car to cloud So we're going to start with uh, the street monitor uh, screen. This is showing various cars which are currently using Cubic Telecom technology. And this has been integrated with car to cloud so you can see all the cars in one dashboard. Uh, you can see where the cars are deployed. These are all using a bootstrap sim, which then goes to a local region uh, and it's able to uh, update itself based on the region from that uh, bootstrap sim. So this allows us to do global connectivity, even in uh, challenging areas with a lot of regulations. Uh, and of course, this is available throughout the, throughout the world. So uh, uh, I'll show you a couple of other things that we are doing with connectivity. Here's another screen where you are actually able to manage uh, at one place all the connectivity solution, which uh, requires sim management, profile management, profile enablement, and you can see not only where the cars are, but also be able to manage those profiles uh, from a single uh, platform between car to cloud and uh, Cubic Telecom. Um, and the last uh, thing that I'm gonna show you is that not only are you able to manage uh, the sims uh, on the cars, you're also able to get a lot of data from the car through the solution, so you can see how the data is being used in different regions, uh, in individual cars, etc. Uh, so this provides a full connectivity solution in one place under car to cloud in conjunction with Cubic Telecom's uh, solutions. Uh, so you saw that we can do connectivity management with Cubic. We actually also uh, are able to do all device management through car to cloud. Uh, that includes OTA updates uh, that we can uh, do uh, throughout the life cycle of the vehicle. One key difference that we are bringing in um, the device management is that we are able to do uh, what is called soft skew or dynamic feature enablement throughout the life cycle of vehicle. We'll show you a little bit of what that means, but imagine that you're buying a car and uh, the OEM or automaker is able to offer certain features within the car. Throughout the lifetime of the car, uh, the, this uh, technology will enable you to bring the car up to a different performance level, maybe enable new features. So for example, if you are starting the car in a region with a 4G network, so you could be starting at 4G with a mid-tier car, but at some point you might want to offer a customer 5G uh, capability, and you can do that uh, in the same car with the same hardware, same software through SoftSkew. So we'll show you, uh, you know, we have a, uh, an uh, example OEM portal through which we can actually show you how this would work. So we're gonna show you, uh, uh, these, these are all the cars which are in our demo platform today. And in, this car, in these cars, we're gonna go and now update one feature, which is 4G to 5G feature. So imagine that the car, and you can see the car here, uh, this is a demo car which is uh, in, the, in San Diego. We are uh, streaming all the screens from that demo car in San Diego. So this is actual Qualcomm hardware, software working on that car. Um, and we are, uh, we are gonna show you how the feature enablement works on this car, which is in San Diego, through our portal uh, from here. So uh, let's go to, so you can see that, for example, in this car, this is the main panel that you are, that's in the car, uh, which, the console, in which we are showing what is the current capability of the telematics unit in the car. You can see that this is a, a basic connectivity SKU, which has single frequency GNSS, and this is at a 4G 
uh, you know, uh, it's a 4G uh, module at this point. We're going to now go to uh, the portal. So uh, what we're going to show you here is that we have a, a, a group of cars which this car belongs to. We're going to choose the telematics uh, unit in this car or in the group of cars. So you can see that uh, we have selected the 5G feature. Uh, we're going to now update this feature by just simply cl clicking update. It basically gives you a summary and you can see in this screen that as we are uh, doing this, uh, the car is connected to our platform on the, on the cloud. Uh, the soft SKU is updated, so which means the feature, uh, 5G feature is now enabled. So if you click on 5G and R, that shows enabled. So you can see that uh, you know, someone driving with a 4G capability, 4G enablement has a 5G capability built into a platform that could be enabled through soft SKU. Typically, when you want to enable certain features, you might want to also look at what services are you going to offer. And those services should be attached to certain features as well, so that there's new avenues for making revenue. We're going to show you an example of this. Uh, we're going to show you uh, uh, the maps, which is uh, currently part of this application. Can you go to the maps uh, screen? So you can see that this map is a 2D map. Uh, this map is a basic map that we have provided in this car. Um, this map uh, is currently using just a GPS location information. We want to be able to now offer a customer a premium navigation package. In that premium navigation package, we want to enable 3D uh, maps. We want to also enable uh, uh, multi-frequency GNSS. So we're going to show you that, let's, let's go to the packages that are available to the customer. Now all these packages that you're showing here, that, that you're seeing here, these are packages which are available through car to cloud because we can bundle different types of, uh, uh, different types of services, applications into packages that can be offered to customer through car to cloud. So we're going to go and look at premium navigation. You can see that premium navigation is offered at certain price, of course this is an example. But this is a, one example of how potentially customers can provide new, uh, can be provided new avenues of uh, revenue. Uh, so when we click on subscribe, it asks for uh, you know our credit card to be charged. We're going to go ahead and do that. When this uh, charge occurs at this point, again our car to cloud. You can see on the top the car to cloud uh, cloud is connected. Automatically, this application is upgraded to 3D maps. Uh, now we'll go and look at what is the uh, feature, what features are enabled, just like we did before, and you'll see that now GNSS is in multi-frequency, which means that now this uh, customer can get precise location through this multi-frequency GNSS on the 3D maps. So here's a good example of how we can use the soft SKU or feature enablement throughout lifecycle of the vehicle, but also provide customers new features, new services, while providing new avenues for OEMs uh, to be able to uh, generate new revenues. All this is possible through our platform, car to cloud platform. Uh, but car to cloud platform by itself is, uh, you know, is not the only thing we are offering. We, car to cloud platform is built on APIs, which means that anything that you're seeing here, whether it's a portal, what we are showing, actions that we have been showing, all these are enabled through APIs which are provided by car to cloud. Now we are in process of launching APIs from Cardi Cloud uh, for all developers. We'll be doing that by end of Q1 this year. Uh, so we're excited to show some examples of how developers can use the same type of functionality that we have built in our demo portal for their own application. So what you're seeing here on the left side is an example developer portal. This is a web portal. Uh, and what you can see here is that uh, there's a car which is you know, showing the location of the car on a map. Uh, you can also see that there's a geofence that's been created. So, and as the car breaches the geofence, you'll also see a notification that the geofence has been breached. Think about uh, this in a way that the developer is developing this application, but to enable all these features that we just talked about, uh, the developer has to uh, have that data, you know, the location data, the geofence data, et cetera. So we have built APIs which are provided in the cloud uh, that are able to kind of provide this type of information. This was an example, a very simple example of geofence. I'm gonna show you an example where even uh, for fleet management type of uh, uh, solutions, 
for commercial vehicles. Um, we can use similar type of APIs to do a lot of things that, that is uh, similar kind of uh, functionality, similar kind of functionality that's uh, available for enterprises. So in this case, you can see that the car is changed to a truck. There's a parking lot of, uh, say, warehouse uh, where the truck is going. Uh, now, of course, the personnel in, the, you know, in this company want to be notified if the truck comes into the parking lot so they can unload uh, the vehicle. So you can see, again, when the geofence is breached, uh, we'll see that uh, you know vehicle is, was out for delivery and now it is arriving in the parking lot. So there are a lot of use cases that the APIs that we are providing can sub be supported. Here is the API portal, which you can see that there are a lot of different types of APIs we are providing. Uh, the examples that I, we just showed you um, requires location information. So you can see that there is a, you know, a location information that we can go. So let's go into the uh, location uh, APIs. And in this, you can see that there is an API which can provide the current location. If we execute it, you can see that there is the value of locations changing as that car was moving. Can you go back to the map here? So you can see the uh, vehicles uh, moving, and if you execute this API, you'll see the location of this vehicle uh, being provided by this API's resu result or API's um, uh, execution. Um, we also have other types of APIs. We have APIs which, are, which can give you other type of telemetry data, for example, HVAC uh, of the car, you know, whether the temperature is, uh, what temperature the car is uh, currently at, uh, we also have APIs where you can actually uh, be notified if the uh, configuration of the car changes. So we showed you how you can change from 4G to 5G, or you can enable GNSS. Uh, you can actually subscribe to our APIs where you'll be notified if, if something is changing. So you can, in fact, if, for example, a developer sees that 5G is enabled, they can provide a service update which can take advantage of a larger pipe through 5G. So those are some examples of how we uh, provide all, the, all that is needed for our developers. You've also seen before this demo, TeleF demo, or Telematics Application Framework demo, car to cloud works in conjunction with Telematics Application Framework. So now you can develop application on board, on device, as well as off board on the cloud. So we showed some examples already how we can potentially help OEMs develop new services through car to cloud which can create new revenue streams. Here's an example of where you saw some of the services that we were creating, Geofence, et cetera. These all services require data. You saw in the beginning that we have connectivity through Cubic that can provide that data globally for services. Uh, this tool allows now for, uh, for services to be onboarded and they can basically tell how much data they want to use. Uh, here you can see that there are several services which are using different types, different amount of data. In this uh, particular uh, uh, tool, you can also onboard applications where applications can put thresholds. So if they reach certain amount of data, they can be notified. So ex for example, if your geofence application has been allocated, let's say, 2 GB per month, but the customer is using this application much more than you anticipated. Um, so you're crossing that 2GB uh, threshold. This tool will allow you to get notified and then you can change your service if you want to. Um, there's also a lot of data that is collected uh, through car to cloud um, We are showing you some of the performance data for, uh, you know, for telematics here, the modem uh, performance, the, the network performance. This can be used for for example, enterprises that are doing fleet uh, management and they want to do some route planning uh, where the network is low, they don't want probably the trucks to go that way. Uh, so those type of planning can be done using this type of data. There are other examples that we have also, but we, I want to show you uh, sort of a unified uh, view of all the data that we collect. Um, so uh, in, in the unified view, we can see, so you can see that uh, different types of data has been collected. Uh, we can actually go and filter this data by, can you show filters? Uh, by location and by performance metri metrics uh, and other car information. So all this data is collected through car to cloud 
uh, Cloud to Cloud is an enabling technology. So with this data, a lot of use cases can be enabled for the customers and end user. Uh, and that's what we are bringing in our uh, engage uh, with Engage uh, for the, this platform. Car to Cloud is really uh, across all components of digital chassis that brings everything together with the cloud connectivity that is needed, secure connectivity that is, that is needed uh, for all different types of services, applications for end user, whether it's an individual customer or an enterprise, uh, a commercial uh, trucking company, uh, a rental company, uh, so, uh, Car to Cloud is really bringing all those solutions together in one place uh, so uh, OEMs can take advantage of that. No, thank you for coming here and watching our demos for Car to Cloud. Uh, if you have more questions or any other information that you need, please go to qualcom.com uh, and we'll be happy to engage with you.